And Suzanne, he has a history of abuse. In 2010, B. Shires was charged with four counts of child abuse. He was convicted of one of those and served a year in jail. That was after they found abrasions and bruises on a three-month-old child's body. As for this case, though, Coloma Township Police said the abuse happened here in a restaurant bathroom. Carter's mother was at an appointment. Police said B. Shires was alone with the child for almost two hours. When Carter's mom got back, she and B. Shires ran some errands. Then she noticed her son was cold and not breathing. Yesterday in court, B. Shires told the judge he wasn't guilty of anything. A waitress remembers B. Shires and the baby coming into the restaurant. She said that Carter was with B. Shires in the bathroom for almost 30 minutes. Yeah, we noticed he was in the bathroom for quite a long time with the baby crying and then he stopped crying, but he was still in the bathroom for a while. And we were, you know, wondering why he was taking so long in the bathroom. B. Shire's grandmother told us that he had told her that it was an accident, that the child had fallen off a changing table, that he would never intentionally hurt a child. Now, when we stopped by that restaurant, we could not find a changing table in their facility. We'll tell you more about B. Shire's criminal past tonight at 6. Live in Coloma, Suzanne Spencer, WSBT 22 News. Suzanne, B. Shire's has a long criminal history. He was previously charged with 15 felonies, seven misdemeanors just in the past 12 years. Many of those were dismissed, but it's something Carter Donovan's family wished they knew sooner. An eight month old who he considered his little buddy. He liked to sit around and everybody love him. <laughs> in his smile. He was always happy, always had a smile and he just, he took my heart, he really did. I mean, I just loved him, instant love, instant. It was inside this bathroom that Coloma Township Police say the child received significant head injuries. Brandon B. Shires was Dana Long's first customer that day. He came out of the bathroom and he put the baby in the car seat. It was completely covered and just kind of walked past me and said, you know, I gotta go. The owner said surveillance video captured him walking in and out of the bathroom. He went in the bathroom and watch him, watch him 25, 30 minutes. He comes out, baby's feet dangling, had him covered, put him in a thing and left. So we, we're not thinking much of it. Within an hour, the employees said police showed up. Hours later, B. Shires was arrested, but it's a phone call Gina Lovelace won't forget. The baby was beat to death and it's like, oh my goodness. This wasn't his first allegation of abuse. B. Shires served a year in jail after he caused, quote, serious abrasions and bruising to a three month old child in Cass County. In court, an attorney said two kids were removed from his care as a result. And I don't see how somebody could do this to a baby. I don't get it, you know, it's just, it's just, uh, sick person, I guess, you know, it's awful. We also tried to get the details of that first abuse case in Cass County. Now, we were told that that public record was not available because it's being used in this more recent abuse case in Berrien County. I also spoke with B. Shire's grandmother today who chose not to go on camera, but that did tell us that B. Shire's had told her it was an accident that the child had fallen off of a changing table. She also said that this has been very tough for their family too, and that he would never intentionally hurt a child. Live in Coloma, Suzanne Spencer, WSBT 22 News.